Harley Quinn issue 15. So take it away. Yeah, Stephanie Phillips, still Ryan. Yeah, Riley Rosmo, still on art. This is the continuation of the Batwoman Harley team up. And it's not great. I will say, it's not as hor horrendously bad as a lot of the other issues have been. I think it's a lot more straightforward than, than a lot of issues have been. There's no jumping around timelines. It mostly follows really linearly, just straight through with the, the two characters. There's a little bit of the start with some detectives and a little bit of the end with Kevin. But for the most part, it just follows straight through with the two of them. And basically, they are trying to find evidence to prove that Harley didn't commit all the murders because she can't have committed the murders. And Batwoman knows that. that's why she's broke her out of Blackgate in the first place because she thinks if she's in Blackgate, she's just going to get killed because she's a target. She has no faith in Harley to defend herself, apparently. Uh, so they, they break into like the police station and like looking at the evidence box and you know, the detect you know, one of the detectives finds them and there's a bit of a fight. And then up shows the, the new vigilante that, that is framing Harley. Um, guilty. The one with the guilty on the mask. I, don't, I, I can never remember the name. I don't even know if they've given her an official name yet. Um, but her. There's a big fight scene. Um, it's a very messy fight because Rosmo, it goes on for about six pages, which is way too long uh, for a fight between three people in one room. And it ends with a massive explosion. Like they've won, they've got they've got her uh, cornered, and she has a, she just pulls a detonator out, and uh, and and blows them all up and escapes, but she's been shot a few times. She's like beaten up, and it, this is where it does the thing where it plays it like a reveal. Like she gets back to you know to Kevin's house, you know, or home, you know, in the apartment, and it's in the bathroom, and she pulls off the mask, and it's like it's me, it's Sam. And it's like that. It's a big final page reveal. And I thought it was really weird because they really heavily implied it last issue that it was her. So we kind of knew this as an audience. So this reveal is more for Sam's sake, not Sam, for Kevin's sake, you know, finding out that it's Sam. But that seems weird to treat that as a big final page kind of cliffhanger uh, as the reveal there because we know that. Ah, oh, Verdict. That's, that's, that's her name. Uh, it's an awful name. That's why I don't remember it ever. But uh, it says next time is going to be her origin, which, way, yeah, that's just what I need. The only upside to that <laughs> is that sounds like a fill-in issue. Ah, that's a different art. That, 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 that sounds like it's not going to be a Riley Rosmo issue. And I could be wrong. I haven't looked ahead. But it does, you know, the, those those sorts of issues in the middle of an arc do tend to be fill-in artists a lot of the time. So I, I can live in hope. But yeah, this this book is so it's so rough. And it's not it's not just the art anymore. Like the writing is kind of all over the place. This issue, like I said, it's it's fairly linear compared to a lot of the issues which are jumping all over the place. There's not a lot of pop culture referencing this time. Again, unlike a lot of the issues, Harley does have a weird fixation on bringing a monkey on a heist that just wasn't funny the first time. And then it comes up like five times over the issue and it just got annoying by the end. Like, why Why are you so fixated on this one joke that's not funny? It's not getting any funnier. Um, but yeah. I don't know. It's like a four. Better than some of the issues. <laughs> what a rain endorsement.